Let's talk about HTTP status codes. Wait, 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 I know it might not sound as exciting as React or Kubernetes, but as the web is mostly runs on HTTP, you need to know about HTTP status codes. Plus, it looks really bad if your app always returns a 200 and it means it's okay, but something's actually gone wrong. You know, for example, bad user input or server has an error. You shouldn't be returning 200 for everything. You need to return the right status code. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, subscribe if you haven't already. You get notified each time I post a video and go live. Right, HTTP status codes, they fall into five categories. Category one is the 100 range. That's from 100 to 199, and that's known as informational responses. Then you have the 200 range, which is successful responses. You might be familiar with 200. You've probably seen 201, which means created. We're gonna get into the details in a moment. Let's Let's keep going. Then you've got the 300, which is the redirection messages. Then you've got the 400, which means client error. So something's gone wrong with the input. You've got the 500 range, which means server error, which means something's happening with the server side. So therefore, no matter what you change in your input, your request to the server is still going to fail. I'm not going to go through all of them. We will be here for a long time, but I will go through the most frequently used ones, the ones that are most popular. So 200 is request succeeded. Everything's good. The request got accepted, it's processed it and returned a response back. Then you've got 201 created. Again, very similar to a 200, but a resource on the server was created, something like a user or a blog post. There was something that was created, not updated, not deleted, created. Then you've got 202, which is accepted. So like the 200 and 201, everything is good, we're all happy. But if things happen asynchronously, like that request goes onto a queue or something like that, the server has requested it, everything seems fine, but the data or the request itself hasn't been processed yet. Let's leave the 200s alone for the moment. Let's jump onto the 400s. 400 is a bad request. Uh, the server cannot process the request because something has gone wrong from the input. So something on the input side, either from the user or the client app, something's gone wrong and the server will not process it. So you could update your input and try again and hopefully the server will accept it and process it. Then you have a 401. This is unauthorized. Usually means the request is not authenticated and the server doesn't know who you are. So you're trying to do something as another user or as an admin and the server's like, I don't know who you are. You're a guest, you're anonymous, so I can't process this for you. Then you've got 403, which is forbidden, but don't mistake this with the 401 because the 403 means forbidden. It, it knows who you are. So the server knows who you are. You're authenticated. It knows you're a user, but you're still not allowed to perform the task that you want. So you might be a normal user, you're a member, you're logged in, you're authenticated, but you're trying to do something that an admin should be doing and you shouldn't. So it's going to return a 403. This one, I'm pretty sure you know, 404, not found. Usually when an invalid URL or resource like a user ID, it doesn't exist. So therefore it doesn't know, it can't find the file, it can't find the user, whatever it is, it's gonna return a 404. I know you know what a 404 is, so let me know in the comments below, where are the best 404s that you've seen? There are some funny ones, even on my website, eddiejowd.io, I do try and have some funny 404s. 418, I'm a teapot. Wait. Before you change from this video, yes, you heard that correctly. I'm not lying, I'm not making this up. 418 is I'm a teapot. This is a really old joke and uh, it was been around for, for a long, long time. You hear some of the older generation, let's say, makes jokes of this. This is a real status code. And it actually was created when the server refuses to attempt to brew coffee in a teapot. There is a story behind that. I'm not gonna share that now. I think you should do a bit of research. Therefore, you can learn about other status codes that are important and this silly one that is not so important, but funny. And you can let me know what you find in the comments below. So 400 is there's something wrong with the requests coming in. And now we're onto the 500, which means there's something wrong on the server side. So no matter what you send from the request, it's not gonna change or fix anything. So let's start off with the 500, the 500, internal server error. This means there's something wrong on the server. No matter what you do, no matter what request you make, it's not gonna fix anything. That's it for the 500s because the rest are kind of boring.
you go have a look. But there are custom response codes that you can do. So if yours don't fit into any of those, you can make your own. However, I wouldn't recommend it because that causes more confusion. That probably causes more documentation, which will get out of date and then causes more confusion. So I would avoid making your own custom codes, even though it is possible. There are many, many more, but those are the most popular ones. Do your research. You don't need to learn all of them. Trying to memorize them doesn't make any sense, but be aware of them. Know what the categories are. Know which ones are most uh, used and, and more important because they're used a lot. So if you're consuming an API, consuming a third party, when you get one, you know what it means and you know where to look for the answers if you need it. Yes, you probably Google, but it'd be good to go to a resource that you know will list it in a format that you're familiar with. So you can straight away go see the one you want and you know if there's anything else that you can do. Hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the Eddie Hub Discord. Link in the description below.